Hi guys, it's Jessie here and welcome today to a new pick a card reading. Now guys, in this pick a card reading, we're going to be focusing upon anything that we can get for your predictions for 2022. Now guys, to make this reading even more personalized today, I've decided to split it into two parts. So the first part, we're going to focus on, you know, picking one of these four card decks and then the second part is going to be uh, getting a little bit more personalized by your zodiac sign. I'm going to get, you know, into those messages for 2022. So beautiful soul, what I'd like you to do for this first part is what you're used to. And that is just by going into your Zen, focusing upon upcoming year and what it has to bring for you. And then choosing one of these four card decks that you see in front of you. Now guys, the first group that we're going to um, talk about is represented by the Bolton Tarot card deck with this beautiful solar light on top. For the second group, I prepared this beautiful Celestial Fortune Oracle card deck with this beautiful Angel Quartz on top. Then representing group number three, I have the Astro Soul Oracle deck with this beautiful Crystal Gayote on top. And then last but not least, I have here for group number four, the Tarot of the Divine with this beautiful pyrite on top. So as I said, my love, just take a moment to go into your Zen and then picking one of these card decks that you've seen in front of you. Now, when you've done that, go down below in the description box or in the comment box, there will leave a timestamp that will bring you directly to the first part of your reading. Now guys, remember when you've done with that first part to go again in the comment box or the description box and there you'll get a link to the second part of the reading, which will be based on your zodiac sign. So my love, for now, all there is left to say is just keep in mind that all of these readings are general readings. So only take what resonates with you and to always, always keep following your heart. So now we're going to start off with this Bolton Tarot card deck representing group number one with this soda light on top and all the other groups. I'll see you in a bit. Hi there, group number one. So you're here because you're drawn to this beautiful Bolton Tarot card deck with this beautiful soda light on top. So let's see what 2022 has in store for you. So we're going to focus first on the big major energies that are going to happen for you for the upcoming year. Of course, we're not going to see like every, every single detail, but we can see like what is, what the major changes are um, for you in the upcoming year. So I do feel like a lot might be happening for you because these cards are like full of energy. A lot of cards might want to pop out. So let's see what we have here. So with the Five of Cups, I do see that you might be leaving things behind that um, have been kind of like disappointed, uh, disappointing for you in the past. I do feel like now this 2021 is going to be focusing upon beautiful things that are going to be a little bit more fulfilling for you. We have here the Four of Coins and also we have here the Seven of Cups. I do see with this Four of Coins and the Seven of Cups that there are a lot of opportunities opening up for you with you leaving anything that just doesn't fit with you anymore, that just doesn't kind of like goes with your energy. Your focus going to be in 2022 that you're going to leave all these toxic relationships, all the toxic maybe um break in place or environment or people, anything that just doesn't serve you and that is bringing you negative energy, that is what you're going to leave behind. Now, having this four of coins and the seven of cups right here, it shows me that by leaving everything behind, that you're going to get a lot of options. You're going to see more because I do feel like every single thing that you're leaving behind was blocking you. And by 2022, you're going to realize that you don't need the approval of anyone else in your life, that you don't need certain people in your life, that you don't need certain environment that's toxic to you. And that is when you're going to get like two other options. You're going to see things like more clearly. You're going to find your way. Uh, well, maybe in 2021, you felt a little bit lost, like, nothing was going like your way or people was maybe deciding, you know, where you should be or where you were influenced by a lot of people um, and get it a lot of frustrated over that because you maybe felt like you weren't enough or you weren't doing like the right thing. And now within 2022, that's going to be just different for you. You're going to leave that all behind 
there is going to be a point where you're going to say, okay, now I do matter and not none of the other people, none of the environment matter anymore. And I do feel with that, again, with the page of wands here coming up, it's going to give you like an insight, a little bit of motivation within 2022, just to pursue your own dreams, just to start off your own journey by focusing upon yourself and no one else. So whoever was there to, you know, pull you back, hold you back and make just your back too heavy for you to move on, that is going to be all released within 2022 because now you're going to focus again with the Ten of Swords on what is up for you. You are going to matter in 2022, especially with this Ten of Cups coming right in. Now with the Ten of Swords, as I said, it might have been a 2021 was a very stressful year for you where maybe you experience a lot of negativity, a lot of toxicity, um, you know, by situationship, by people, by work. It could have been like anything that you felt like, oh my God, you know, I wish this could be over with. And I do feel with 2022 coming up, that is going to be over with. You're ready to focus on a beautiful new things that are going to bring you a lot of joy because with the 10 of cups, it talks about emotional for fulfillment so you're definitely going to focus upon yourself focus upon your own energy and thinking like yes this is the way that i want to create my life this is the way that is making me happy instead of other people and that is exactly my beautiful soul where you're going to get that world you're definitely going to feel like in 2022 like you're on top and that your mission right there is more important than anyone else and that it's okay to just be a little bit selfish and just focus on your own projects because i do feel like 2022 is going to be your year of project that you're going to stand up and succeed and especially just going to start shining i do feel a little bit of you maybe coming out of your shell and just realizing that you matter because maybe in 2021 people just you know made you feel less worthy less of everything because that situation that you are in was causing you a lot of stress was maybe keeping you at night you know maybe you experience insomnia maybe you experience just you know you crying over things uh just being like so so stressful or maybe even not being able to just take time for yourself because other people were kind of like pulling on you uh because they wanted things done and in 2021, you are going to decide that that is no longer going to rule your life. You're going to be like on top of your game and deciding that you need a game changer right here. And that is exactly what is going to happen. You're really going to get that energy again that maybe you were missing in 2021. Okay, that is really, really beautiful. So I'm just going to pull up here some months of which is going to tell me that it's going to be maybe interesting months for you um, in 2021. 2021 uh, sorry 2022 so we've got august right here coming up we've got march right here coming up and what other month is maybe important for you and may so keep these three months in mind that they might mean something for you so march may and august might be really important months for you because they're bringing certain changes to your life whether it is career or love but i do feel like something major is going to happen as i'm getting here the card of retreat my love so as i said in 2021 is going to be all about you so i do feel maybe in march it's going to be you realizing that you just can't go on the way you have been acting within 2021 so if you are taking a lot of things upon you things that are just too much for you to carry in march by you know the beginning of the year that's going to be a time where you're going to realize like no way i'm not going to carry this any longer i'm going to release all this burden all this stress you're going to put them like right back where they you know came from you're going to send them back to you know whoever sent them you're going to return them it's like done i'm finished with you you can take like all of your baggage all of your stress that you're causing me i'm just like now it's time for me now it's time where you're going to retreat and focus upon yourself so i do feel like that is going to be the beginning of the year where you realize like no not at all like you know my wishes and my dreams and 
where I come from, that is also important. I do matter and I'm going to take matter in my own hand to change that. Because remember, group number one, no one is going to do that for you. If you want a certain change, if you want to put yourself first, you have to be the one that does that because no one is going to say to you, okay, darling, I do feel like, you know, you're carrying too much. Let me take that burden off of you. No, most people are very selfish in a way that all people just focus upon themselves. So if you're a pleaser, if you're someone who's always like saying, you know, let me do it, let me carry it, you know, I'll do it for you. Then in March, you're going to realize that people might take advantage of you and that it's now time for you to take that back into control and just like drawing your line, saying like, okay, enough is enough. I will be helpful to you, but there are limits to me being helpful to you. I have the right to say no. And then you're going to retreat. I do feel like you going like inside and just taking time for yourself to catch your breath and just to reprioritize to what is truly important for you. So with this, I also feel like maybe in May of August, love is going to come into your life. Now, whether that it is like a new love or that your love is going to find like a new uh, depth to it. Both are here options. I do also feel that it's also going to be a way of you loving yourself, but I really, really also feel like this might be someone special coming into your life or your, you know, relationship that you already have given like that deep strength. And because once you decide like, okay, I'm going to give myself that time. I'm going to show myself that love. But then I do feel this relationship or you're going to be like open to receive someone into your life. Something that I feel you might have been wishing and hoping for. And that is exactly coming to you. Okay. And I do feel like... In the beginning, this might cause a little bit of uncertainty on your path because this is something new. Choosing yourself is something new, something maybe that you haven't done before because you have been pleasing other people. But, you know, in 2022, that's going to be a change because you're going to grow. You're going to grow, especially I'm seeing like that 44. Realize that you have guides all over around you that are guiding you throughout this growth. So if you are feeling a little bit uncomfortable, unsure of what you're going through, just remember that the signs are everywhere around you. So that is something that I want to get, get out there. But definitely you're going to grow, my love. And because you're going to grow, that is going to give you like so much insight into new opportunities that are coming into your life. Now we have this card of purity. And I do feel that there is something about you that people notice and that people are going to notice because you're definitely going to shine a bright, bright light into uh, 2022. And you're going to notice like how powerful and how magical you are and that you do matter, that you do just matter like in this life that you are important because I do feel like your self-worth might have been you know, taking like a couple of notch down within this year. So let's see what else we have for you. So we have, oh, right here about purity, we have the magical power. So I do feel like when, once you start realizing that you have the power and the control over your life, it might have been that you were trying to manifest things in your life and that you didn't get like the chance to focus upon your own dreams. Now, 2022 is going to be a year where you are going to matter. So I do feel like a lot of dreams that have like a lot of potential within them will start coming true within 2021. Whether this is about you starting your business or you taking a project or you working together or you in love, whatever you have like on your mind now in 2022, that is going to be your focus. And that is exactly what you're going to attract now with this card of inspiration from everything that's coming up with the seven of cups with an inspiration card it tells me that that is going to be your new beginning so by changing your attitude your mindset for 2022 everything is going to start rolling it's going to be a magnificent year for you group number one where you get to stand tall and enjoy whatever you are creating so Beautiful group number one, I hope that this reading resonated with you. I definitely find it a super beautiful uh, reading. 
If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're done with this first part, remember to go down below to your zodiac sign for the second part of this reading. For now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Hi there, group number two. So you're here because you're drawn to this beautiful celestial fortune astrology card, oracle card deck with this beautiful angel quartz on top. So let's get into your predictions for the year 2022 and let's see what beautiful things are coming up for you. Now remember, we cannot get like into every single detail of the upcoming year, but we are going to focus upon the major energies that are coming your way and see what type of energy are coming towards you. So first we have the waxing moon and we have... The Chiron coming up. Now, guys, with this waxing crescent moon, I am getting that in 2022, you are going to be strategizing a little bit more. You're going within, you're going to your intuition, and you're going to build yourself up. This represents the high priest, and this represents the hierophant or temperance in the tarot card. So, definitely. 2022 is going to be a year where you're going to focus more about your intuition or on your intuition. So maybe in 2021, you were very, very uncertain on maybe messages that you were getting, or maybe you were just following the practical way. And in 2022, it's going to be a little bit more focused upon what you hear inside. So I do feel maybe you want to build up your, um, uh, spiritual gifts or maybe you're getting more spiritual within 2022 maybe you are trying to build something up and where you're going to need your intuition i also feel that you're going to get like a lot more confident within the things that you want to accomplish within 2022 so if in this year, you lack that confidence to build certain things up. In 2022, that is all going to change. I do feel you're going to get insight into your situation or into the things that you want. And so the way is going to open for you that you're going to see how you can build maybe your business or how you can build certain things that you have in your mind. And I do feel like there was a certain doubt about this within this year, but that is all going to change. Now with this temperance and hero fan card, I do see, as I said, like deep insecurities, emotional wound, greatest opportunity for healing. So 2021 <laughs> has been a card, as I said, uh, has been a year where maybe you felt a lot of uncertainty. Maybe you felt like you were wounded or maybe you were so disappointed by things not turning out the way you wanted to. Of course, that is a little bit what you're going to move forward within 2021. But I do feel like there's going to be a huge healing of all of these little traumas or big traumas that has happened within 2021. You're going to realize that you have to let that go in order to move forward. And how you're going to have to let that go, that's going to come through you, through your intuition. And I do feel you are getting messages about that and how to heal on these certain things and how to move forward. But that is an ongoing process. So I feel like 2022 is going to be a year of very much healing a lot of things for you. So let's get a little bit more insight uh, for you in 2022. And let's see, you know, what these tarot cards can tell me about the upcoming year. So let's see what messages we can get for you. So what do we have for the predictions for 2022 so we have the seven of pentacles now beautiful soul with the seven of pentacles i do see here that because you're going to heal from certain things that it's going to help you to move forward to new creations new ideas you're seeing like these beautiful horses coming your way in the way of a rainbow i do see because you're going to listen to your heart you're going to find new endeavors that are going to bring you a lot of prosperity um it's looking very very positive for you for 2021 and with this chariot card i do feel it might be that a gemini might come into your uh, sorry a cancer right here coming into your life that might have helped you with 
these things that you're going through might also help you with the healing part that you're going through also i do feel with this tarot card that 2022 is going to be a year where you're definitely going to move forward from like anything that you know has hurt you within 20 21 this year i feel has been a hard year for you and 2021 is going to be a more uplifting a more you know year where you see a little bit more abundance i do see like a lot of smile I'm also seeing like almost like a smile coming from your heart so if you were very hurt this year if things happen that kind of like broke your heart that is going to be the healing process for you for this upcoming year. With this Wheel of Fortune, I definitely feel like the people who have hurt you within this year are going to get their karma back. And you're slowly going to start up rising with this karmic wheel. You're going to notice that 2021 is going to be a change of a luck, a change of fortune for you. Because I do feel like a lot of abundance coming in in 2022 for you. With this devil card, I do feel like any negative um, emotions that you have been dealing with or even maybe, you know, if you have been behaving in certain toxic things or going into toxic patterns because of all of these things that have happened this year that have thrown you kind of like off guard, that is all going to change within 2022. You're going to get rid of most of the negative patterns that you've established within this year. So whether it is that maybe you're eating bad or that you're kind of like drinking or substance abuse or anything like that, that is all going to change because you're going to leave that all behind. You're going to sail away from everything that kind of like make you feel like you're not worthy. Because I do feel like you feel you're not worthy, group number two. Know that you're very much worthy and that there is a lot of reasons why you should keep shining. But in 2022, you're going to realize that for yourself. Because you know, sometimes a lot of people can tell you how you should feel and that you matter. But that sometimes you have to realize that for yourself and within this tower i do see like uncomfortable changes are going to come up in 2022 for you so whether you like it or not these changes are going to come but notice that these changes are going to be changes even though on the outside, they will feel like, dang, you know, why is this happening to me? And why are all these changes going like happening and making me feel like uncomfortable on the surface? Down below, there is a beautiful dove coming in to bring that peace. So even though if, you know, some changes are going to happen within 2022, which are going to stir you up and make you feel like a little bit uncomfortable when those changes passes, this beautiful, peaceful energy is going to rise up and you're going to feel a little bit more at ease with everything that's happening in your life, okay? So let's move on to this beautiful month cards. And I just want to get like three cards to show me kind of like which months are going to be important for you. So the first card that I have for you is the card of August. So I definitely feel that August... Uh, is going to be an important month for you. We have October as well coming in and we have November. So notice that the last part of the year for 2022 is going to be very, very important for you. So it might be that that is when a lot of changes are going to happen for you. So keep that in mind that, you know, beautiful things are coming your way. So let's hop into a little bit more of the Oracle cards and see what else I can get for you for 2022. So we have the card of patience. Now in 2022, I do feel like you're going to need a lot of patience and that maybe your patience is going to be tested on some little things and it might be that you might feel like oh my god you know why aren't things moving that fast but sometimes things are happening behind the scenes before we can actually see the proof of it in the 3d realm so keep that in mind that sometimes it does take us a little bit to have like that patient before we can start to see those you know that fortune on 
where you have been working so so hard for especially because it is on top of this seven of pentacles it does show that sometimes you might feel like you're working like so so hard but nothing is coming to fruition but don't worry about it because even though you can't see it you know even though it might be like very very foggy you might kind of like think like you know dang nothing is happening you know i'm working like really hard but i don't see like anything know that behind the scenes there is a rainbow right there there are like a lot of things coming to fruition but it does take a little bit of patience so don't worry if you're not going to see like right away at the beginning of the year that you know all of your endeavors or all of your hard work is going to you know be good for you but that is going to happen that is definitely going to happen now we have the card of the sanctuary right here. And I do feel with that part of the sanctuary, it does cause for you to just take a moment away from maybe everything that you have been going through. If you have like negative patterns to create somewhere where you feel safe or where you can relax and absolutely be yourself because sometimes we forget that. And that's why we dive into maybe substance or negative patterns, whether it is, you know, just staying up at night, uh, late at night, or just like keeping, uh, you know, watching our, our phone or checking our phone or anything like that. It is, those things are kind of like negative patterns and it's causing us just like to derail from our a uh, healthy routine. So I do feel like in 2022, it's going to be you finding a healthy routine for yourself or where you can manage your energy. And so you can focus again on, you know, putting your energy into the good things that are going to come your, your way. With this new renewal energy, I do feel like something beautiful is going to help you kind of like boost from, you know, this year to the next year. I do feel like there is something new coming up, but that is going to take like a new mindset, a new you, a new way of you kind of like seeing this phase that you are in. And that is definitely going to happen within the next year. You're also going to get a lot of insight, as I said, like into your situation of the things that might have happened like in the past. I do feel you're going to kind of like sense that way of relief, kind of like sensing a way of, huh, okay, now I'm ready. Now I'm seeing it. Now I'm seeing like a way out, out of this, you know, maybe situation that you've been dealing in uh, 2021. And also my beautiful love, this next year is going to be for you to focus upon everything that you have to let go of, especially those negative patterns and toxic energy or, you know, anything that's just kind of like keeping you from moving forth and keeping you from enjoying your fruits. So let's see what else we have for you. So we have a safe home. And again, this reminds me of this beautiful sanctuary where you feel safe, where you feel nurtured, where you think about like what you eat, what you're putting into your body and also how you're taking care of your body. This safe home, it talks about you feeling safe. So again, if you are maybe in, in a situation where you're not safe, you could take this like very, very literally. Next year is going to be you figuring out how you can get rid of that you know, unsafety situation. It's going also to be focusing upon your, your safe home where you finally can relax and let go of anything that is just um, weighing upon you. And that's kind of like holding you back from moving forward. Okay, so think about 2022, just making that difference. Also, I do feel it's going to be a year where you're going to focus upon your outer beauty. I do feel again, because it's coming upon that sanctuary, that you're definitely going to focus upon your appearance and a more maybe on the beauty that's within, but also on the outside, how you can take care of yourself. So maybe you have been neglecting yourself this year. So next year, that is going to be your beauty, your glow up, your just, you know, feeling your whole self and just, just feeling content with who you are and to start loving yourself the way you are. Because maybe someone has made you feel you know, not truly who you are. And especially with this card of uh, attention, this is tea that's kind of like coming out. Oh, dang. Okay. 
Um, I do feel like you're going to be more, you know, embracing yourself. So again, as I said, like I'm noticing that the message is about maybe someone has put you down or maybe because situation have let you believe that you are not beautiful enough, that you're not good enough. Um, or that you're just like not enough. Maybe your boss were, you know, talking ugly with you in, in, in this year because, you know, all of these stress and things are happening. And next year, that is going to change. You're going to see a different way on how you can deal with all of this negativity, how you can put that aside and just focus on your own and your own worth. Also, I do feel like an increasing in energy. I do feel like this year you maybe lack energy and that is going to change for you in 2020. One. Also, you're going to become a little bit more wiser, and I do feel like someone coming into your life, as I said, like with that cancel card. Um, but this could also be like someone who is a teacher or you know, who bears like a lot of wisdom coming in and showing you how you need to deal with this relationship. This so this could be like you know, either someone coming in as a lover or as a friend, but definitely someone who might be a little bit older than you or maybe has an little bit experience or a lot more experience within this because this person is going to step up for you and just going to kind of like show you how you need to deal with all of these things that have been happening within this year for you so beautiful group number two this was your reading i hope that this reading resonated with you if it did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here and you like what you see consider subscribing to my channel i would love to have you around now guys, you're done now with part number one. So if you like, go down below to part number two to your own zodiac sign to get an even more personalized reading. See you then. Hi there, group number three. So you're here because you're drawn to this beautiful Astro Soul Oracle card deck with this beautiful Gayote on top. So let's put that right there and let's hop into your reading to see like, you know, what 2022 has in store for you. So. Uh, as you know, we cannot like get like into every single detail of what is coming up for you in 2022, but we can get into, you know, who, what is happening for you, like the major changes that are going to come up in 2022. So with this retrograde card, I do feel like things that you might have thought that you have closed off in 2021 might be reoccurring or reopening in 2022. And these things will happen just for you to kind of like get that feeling like, okay, did I really, did I really kind of like move past that? Did I really shut it off? Did I really like close it off? This might be with people. This might be with any situation, but it's definitely going to come up for you. Now with this Chiron card right here, this wounded healer, I do feel like 2022 is going to be like that card. I know maybe you guys don't want to hear this, but it's definitely showing that you're getting rid of a most you know, little bitty things that are coming up with this retrograde feeling that you're going to heal all of those things within 2022. So this is actually a pretty good card to have uh, with all of this retrograde energy that's coming up. So if there is like an ex coming back in in 2022, guys are going to say like, no, no, I have, you know, closed you up. And, you know, maybe some of the feelings will kind of like stir up and you might be like, oh, dang, you know, I thought I closed this up, but still I do have like emotions, but it's just like kind of like that retrograde feeling to kind of like shake you and just like remind you like, you know, why aren't you like with this person? Do you remember that? Okay, even though you're feeling this, just think about, you know, all the reason that you quit that relationship. Think about all the reason that this relationship was toxic for you and to really close that off again. So the little bitty wounds that are still left with those traumas are there just kind of like be healed that less bitty parts that are coming in. So then we have the waning gibbous here, which is releasing... I do have like four cards, so I do have to make a little bit of room right here. So with this waning gibbons, I do feel like it's about releasing gratitude, nurture, and act of service. So within next year, I do feel like you're going to be releasing a lot of, as I said, like old stuff. So if it is an ex, 
if it is like you know work is it is you know anything just like toxic relationship or just places whatever you release this year that's coming back you're going to release again because those are kind of like the last wounds that you need to heal for this year or things that are happening in the past so you're definitely focusing upon you know and next year you're definitely focusing upon closing off anything that just doesn't serve you that's really really good good number uh, three and also i do feel you're going to nurture yourself a little bit more there is a whole lot of self-love that's coming with all of this healing so you're going to be focusing upon yourself a lot lot more also i do feel you're going to give that love back in a way of service so it could be that you're very going to focus upon a little bit of a humanitarian role or that you're going to give the love back in a way that serves other which is very very beautiful here uh, for you I also feel that 2022 is going to be a year where you're going to reap everything that you sow and this is actually in a really positive way I feel like you're going to harvest a lot of things so Next year, my love, is going to be a very, very beautiful year for you, which you're actually going to harvest a lot of things. So if you have been working hard in this year on a project or on a relationship or, you know, on work, it could be any anything or just like investment or anything like that. If you have invested a lot in things, that is exactly what you're going to reap upcoming years. So any projects that you're working on is going to be bringing in a lot of abundance. So I'm also seeing a lot of cash, a lot of beautiful energy coming in, a lot of love coming in for you. Um, and it's also going to be a year where you achieve a lot. So think about, you know, achievement within work, going like to a higher rank, getting like promotions, but also like if you are online, if you're like someone who seeks that uh, acknowledgement online or just like getting like that fame or fortune, this is going to be your year where you're going to stand like on top. And for that, my love, you're going to let go like of everything that, you know, that negative energy that people are trying to hold you back from reaching that top, you know, when you are going throughout that success, that's why that retrograde is coming. That's why, you know, all the people are coming back that you have closed out of, out of your life because they're smelling your success. They are smelling your achievement. And of course, that is going to come with a lot of jealousy. So that's why people want to come into your life. So that is exactly what you need to be reminded of why these people just don't belong in your life. So don't let that throw you off in any way to keep focusing upon, you know, what definitely works for you. Because this is going to be the year where you achieve a lot of success. So don't let anyone take that away from you. Don't let anyone, you know, talk bad about you. And if they do, just let them just be. Don't let that affect you in any way because they really don't deserve that. So we have the Knight of Pentacles right here. Now with the Knight of Pentacles, I do feel that an earthy energy might come into your life. So definitely a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn could be coming into your life. Um, and I do feel like this person might be helping you within business adventures that you're going to uh, go through within upcoming year. This could be a new partner coming into your life or someone that you're going to work with uh, within the year of, you know, 2022. So take that into consideration. This person is a very smart and wise person in business. I do feel like they have a lot of knowledge. So if you have been working on, you know, whatever adventure or endeavor that is work related, then this person is definitely going to help you out. So we have the Empress card right here. Oh my God, beautiful soul. With this Emperor card, I definitely feel that you are going to work upon yourself and you're very much going to shine within this upcoming year. You're going to feel like an Empress. And whether you are male or female, it doesn't matter. But having that emotion of feeling like an Empress, feeling like totally imbalanced, feeling beautiful, feeling nurtured, feeling just totally content. Oh my God, with this nine of cups, it just like all your wishes. This is like the biggest, you know, gratitude or just kind of like card of dreams kind of like coming up with this 
nine of cups card it just means that everything that you have been wishing for is going to come true within 2021 wow so gift number three this is kind of like a good spread right here we also have the king of swords right here and i do feel it might represent a second person that will come into your life that will be someone who is very intelligent who is well spoken and maybe will help you with a little bit of you know, uh, anything that you need in that area with words or contracts or something legal, this person will help you out. That is a very favorable card to have. Also, I do feel like if you're someone who is working within, you know, somewhere where you have to speak a lot or something like that, that is going to be like a way where you're seeing things clear, where you're standing like above of your niche and just noticing like everything that needs to be done for you to just make it happen within this next year. Now with these four swords, I also see like there is, you know, a well needed rest within upcoming a year that's coming up. So because you have achieved all of this, there's also going to be a time where you get to relax and where you get to kind of like enjoy a little bit of what you have created. So take that well deserved rest because it can feel like you have been working really, really hard in this year. So next year, take time for yourself just to kind of like you know balance it all out again that's really important as well to take care of you so let's see what months are important for you within next year so i'm getting here the month of september is going to be a month that might be important for you and what else we have here we have april so that is the start of the year and what else do we have we have november so we have april november and september here uh for you so keep that in mind that these months can be really really significant for you the upcoming year so let's move to some oracle cards and see what else we can get for you to what is happening upcoming year So we're getting transformation. Wow, seeing this beautiful soul, you're going to transform within um, this upcoming year. I definitely feel you coming with that butterfly spirit. You're going to notice that I feel like you're go definitely going to just be blooming, a glow up, but also like in business. I do feel like who like something very, very special and beautiful is coming your way. And that is because you are done with that transformation. Because you've done like all, most of the work, most of the work this year, upcoming year. Yes, there is going to be a little bit of the trauma coming back, reminding you, you know, just why you don't need to go back. And that is going to transform you into that beautiful butterfly. I do feel like you... Just kind of like letting go of anything that just doesn't serve you, which is going to bring you a lot of freedom. I definitely feel you feeling free from everyone, just like any toxic, toxic uh, energy that has been up for you this year. That is definitely going to be like all in the past. Now with this generosity card, it really emphasizes that full moon card that you're going to have enough, my love so so much that you're able to share it with other people i definitely see that you're able to be that successful in 2022 that you're going to share your success with other people this is amazing oh my god guys we have the card of the success i mean this is going to be definitely i'm like getting like super excited for you guys but this is definitely going to be such a beautiful year right here for you i'm just like super super happy for you group number three okay and again we have like this wisdom card and i do feel because because you've gone like through this you know what life can throw at you and you know how to handle all these things which is making you very very smart in business but also in relationship and who you're letting within your life and that's exactly how you're being more successful in your relationships but also in business so it's definitely a very you know step stepping up in your game in whichever area in life within 2022 so the last card that I have here for you, my love, is magic. So I cannot like say anything else than 2022 is going to be 
a year full of magic full of just like just be a magical year for you where you're going to experience a lot of abundance and take this like in the broadest way of the word because abundance can be material abundance but it could also be you know that love that you may be wanting but because you've done the work this year 2022 is going to be an amazing and magical year for you, group number three. So if you love this reading, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up so you're ready with this part one. Don't forget to move down below in this, for the second part of this video. For now, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you do so, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hi there, group number four. So you're here because you're drawn to the Tarot of the Divine with this beautiful pyrite gemstone on top. Now guys, the thing is with <laughs> this group, I was already filming and I draw like all the cards and then suddenly I realized that my camera wasn't rolling. So I don't want to spoil that reading because it was like a really, really good reading and there was a lot of kind of like beautiful message messages. So that's why I'm just going to put the cards that I draw for you guys. And I'm just going to go a little bit over the cards so you can get like an insight of what is happening for you. So I'm so sorry about that. So first off for you, I have the Ace of Coins. So with this Ace of Coins, beautiful soul, I do see that a new business venture or something new, a new endeavor is coming up for the next year for you. So maybe if there was like something that you were doubting about or something like that, then upcoming year is going to be a year where you know something beautiful might be happening for you within that area but just like something beautiful as well with these flowers now we have the star and the six of swords coming up and with that i do feel like you might be sailing away from maybe ideas that you had or maybe something that you weren't daring within this year and now next year you're realizing that you want to put that you know first that you're putting maybe your dreams and ideas first and for that to happen maybe you need to change certain things within your life for you know for those things to come to fruition and for that i'm definitely seeing that you're leaving things behind so whether this is a relationship or a certain place that you're moving or you know any type of endeavor that you just are realizing that they're just not coming to fruition and you want to take it to a different level that is exactly what you're going to do in uh within next year i definitely seeing that you're leaving like something behind or you're moving something uh, somewhere or something like that okay now with this king of swords that i have coming up i do feel it might be like someone coming within your life that might help you uh to you know do some little business venture or help you with this change of where you're going to move forward to make it like more successful for you for your dreams to um become a little bit more uh prominent within next year because i definitely feel like it's you just saying like enough is enough now i'm going to sail out to set ship towards my dreams like that's definitely like what i'm seeing like you are definitely going like towards your dreams instead of you know saying okay you know i'm just going with it with going with the flow you're definitely saying okay now i want it i want my dreams i want my things to come to fruition okay so i definitely feel like this king of swords might be someone who's a little bit uh, older coming into your life but who's also kind of like is very direct and speak like what they have like on their mind and is very very confident in the things that they want and how they want to accomplish that and with this page of coins right here i do see that maybe at the beginning you are a little bit you know you're just maybe starting this journey so everything might be new to you and you might have been contemplating or thinking about how you're going to bring these dreams of yours into fruition so you might have been planning and now you're definitely setting sail to make it real so of course a lot of things are going to be new to you and that is exactly what you're going to experience within you know uh the beginning of the year but maybe also at the end of the year you might become a little bit more mature with this help of this person okay now I have the temperance card for you. And with that, I do feel like things might not move very, very fast for you. It will move, but at a slow and steady pace. So don't be kind of like annoyed or, you know, get frustrated when things don't happen kind of like right away. But realize that sometimes we need that time. We need for things, you know, to unfold at our own time so we can, you know, 
see like what's coming so definitely be patient to whatever you have here because maybe you want to do a lot of things at once and you have to realize that you cannot juggle like all these things at once you have to listen to your own intuition to see which way you want to go first okay but however, I'm feeling like throughout the year, you'll be very, very successful in the things that you do with the Six of Cups because you'll have enough, you'll have enough to share with people around you. So I definitely seeing abundance and a lot of good things coming your way. And whether it is like with the help of this person, I do feel like something is going to go pretty amazing for you in the upcoming year so you deciding that you want to go after your dreams that you're setting shape uh still into this next venture whether it is like you know on a relationship or just you know on a business this is definitely going to be a good step for you so if you were doubting about it don't that is just a big yes coming forward then i had the lover card coming for you group number four which definitely means for me that this you know year is also going to be a year in which you're going to meet a new love or you know something beautiful is going to arise and with this lover card it also might be like someone who you might think that might be you know a little bit rough on the outside that might be like a little bit blunt or something with their words and that really correlates with a king of swords right there um but i feel it might be like someone who on the outside they might not seem like gentle but they will have a very very gentle soul gentle heart so it might be that they're very you know authoritative or you know have a way of speaking like very direct that might scare other people off but to you they are very very gentle and kind Whew! beautiful love coming in and it also represents for me that this person is definitely a soulmate or a twin flame for you coming in now with these seven of swords i uh, hear above this lover card i do feel like uh it might be that you'll put up a fence or that this person will put up a fence because they have been hurt in the past so they're very very you know um in the fence when they first first meet you so pay attention to that and just kind of like take notice with that now then i've drawn three cards in which will represent the uh, months that are significant for you in the upcoming year so i draw may november and october for you so keep that in mind that these three months might be significant in the upcoming year for you so then i have moved on to you know other oracle cards and i've got for you the card of flexibility so i do feel Maybe because things are moving in a way, it causes for you to be flexible, so to adapt really quickly to new situations. So whether it is because you're moving, you know, to a different place or at a different job or just a new relationship, keep in mind that flexibility is the key here. Also, keep things flowing. I do feel that there is something within you that likes to stay maybe in the comfort zone. And even if you are moving away, maybe you're someone who thinks things through a lot or who wants to kind of like, you know, when things are changing, you want to hold on to the tie and just like, no, 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 I don't want to go. But they say, like, just keep going, keep moving. Because when you do, um, when you let go of that refugee mindset or where you, you know, want to hang on to things, prosperity is going to come your way, which is actually really beautiful because it correlates with the six of cups. So for me, this coming up means that this year for you, beautiful soul, is going to be a year where a lot of things are going to happen. A lot of beautiful energy is coming up. Okay, so then I had this card of courage. Now with this card of courage for you, I do feel that something um maybe you weren't daring to take a certain step this year as i said so maybe you were contemplating on something maybe you were planning but you were like still I'm like no i don't want i don't know if i want to um but definitely next year is going to be uh, a year where you have to step up step up if you want things to happen for you you definitely have to take charge of your life your relationships and just like everything that has to do with a situation so you get to move forward so it does going to help you to find that courage within yourself to make that decision for upcoming years so if you are still doubting don't worry about it you'll find the courage soon to make that decision to move forward within this new phase of your life now then i had this inspiration card which tells me that next year will be a card uh, a year full of inspiration 
full of new adventures, maybe that will spark that motivation within you to even move forward with any other ventures. Then guys, we have this card of safe travel. Now with this card, I cannot deny that it might be involving traveling for you in 2021 or that you'll be moving from some place to another place, whether that is definitely moving, immigrating to a country or just like within your country or just moving from job to job or just like closing something up and moving from a different relationship. It just shows that you're definitely moving away from something and that ship has sailed. Also with this 22, two here on top, I do feel like moving is definitely going to help you into a more divine life path, the life path of 22, where you are going to be uh, getting used of uh, a teacher. So I definitely feel like this moving will bring you closer to someone that will help you with whatever you have like on your mind. Now with this card of romance, yeah, we kind of definitely get around it that, you know, something is happening for you in this romance area <laughs> within next year. So this is really, really beautiful. So enjoy that as well. Um, you know, just enjoy that romance. Also with this magical power, I do feel like you're now focusing on whatever you want to manifest and how you're going to manifest it. So that is going to be a year for you when you're manifesting your dreams and where you're putting your dreams just like on top and at the last i feel like dream sweet sleep deep i do feel like dreaming sleeping is something really really important for you so if you haven't been getting enough sleep because you are planning a lot of things or maybe because you're anxious this year that is going to change within next year because once you find that peace and once you start like this journey you're going to get good night sleeps again also, if you're having dreams and getting signals on how you should proceed within your journey, you know, journalize that, you know, write that down to keep um, or to notice those symbols within your dreams and uh, just look them up because they can help you greatly, greatly within this journey. So beautiful group number four. This was the first part of you reading. If you're ready for the second part, go down below to go to your zodiac sign to get even more personalized within this reading. And for now, I just want to thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you around. For now, thank you so much and I'll see you in your next part. Bye. Hi there, beautiful Aries soul. So let's see what 2022 has in store for you and what major things are playing a role in your year of 2022 so let's see what we can get for you so i do feel with this justice card coming up i do feel things are going to come to light of where you have doubt of or where you have felt like you know something was wrong or you know you felt maybe this year some justice wasn't brought to you with the ace of swords definitely the truth is going to come to light so that is something that is going to play a major role within your life within the next year so maybe if you are someone who has been busy within something legal that is going to uh, rule out in your favor but if you have been you know in a certain relationship and you really wanted clarity or something that is also going to happen within next year i also feel like you're going to get a very very motivated uh because of this news is going to help you out to move um past anything maybe that you have been holding up until now because of you know whatever has happened but it too so i'm also getting that this will help you to balance out your life to get some peace and harmony back because i do feel because of this whole ruling thing maybe because you didn't get justice where you uh left it uh, or where you wanted it it was kind of like holding you within this grudge maybe you were doubting if it was you or if it was like this other person but now you're definitely going to notice that because of this you're going to get like more balance within your life that you're going to get like more focus upon you know your love and your career as well because this is going to be lifted upon your shoulder you're finally going to get the truth and with that, I also see, even though we have like this broken line within these Ace of Cups, it's also going to open up your heart again for upcoming year. And with this High Priest coming up, my love, I do feel like something beautiful is also going to happen because you already know in your intuition what this, um, 
you know what this result is going to be but getting like that acknowledgement within 2021 uh 2022 is really going to help you and i do feel also that you're going to get like a little bit more deep within your intuition because i do feel that uh, that is something that you really want to focus upon next year. You really want to build that strong connection with your intuition so no one can let you doubt yourself again, maybe as it has happened within that uh, this year. Now we have the strength card. I'm also getting that you're going to focus upon nurturing yourself again and getting above anything that has happened this year that have made you feel like injustice has been done to you. Now you're going to focus upon yourself and finding your strength again and in which you're going to stand tall and just realize, you know, and say like, okay, this is definitely something that's not going to happen for me again. And I'm done, you know, being the victim right here of all of this. I'm done allowing this to happen to me. So you're definitely going to find your strength again within upcoming year. The March month is going to be really important for you, Aries. And let's see what else we have here. We have February. So it all talks about the beginning of the year. So this is going to happen really soon for you. And then we have the August card right there. So let's move on to other beautiful messages that we can get for you for the upcoming year to see what else is important for you. So let's see what card can we get for the airy souls that are watching. Okay, so we have here two cards. So we have the card, you can always be uh, kinder to yourself. So again, we have this strength card which is also talking about the uh, nourishment of yourself. So maybe you punish yourself because you are doubting yourself, you're doubting your capability because of all of this injustice. Maybe you were, you know, being so, so hard on yourself. And now in 2021, uh, 22, it's going to be you focusing on how you can nurture yourself as well. And even though, you know, sometimes things didn't go the way we wanted to, we we'll let people maybe talk us down or talk badly about us. That is all going to change within 2022. You're going to notice that your words have immense power. So your thoughts are immensely, you know, powerful and important. So the kinder you are to yourself, the less power other people have over you. Because in the end, those words that you say to yourself are more important than any other words from any other people. So keep that in mind. And that is exactly what you're going to figure out within the upcoming year. And we are saying we're all one. Love all creatures for we all share the same life force. So now again, if someone did hurt you, if some injustice happened, keep in mind that even though we don't want that revenge, we need to love everyone. We need to accept what happened and then also to, you know, move on and let it go. Even though, you know, sometimes those things can be very, very, you know, difficult. It can be very difficult to move past all of those traumas or things that, you know, people have done to us. That injustice feeling, you know, that feeling that you didn't get what was yours what was rightfully yours. But that's all going to change. You're going to get that in 2021. You're definitely, that truth is definitely going to rise, you know, whatever it's needed. Um, and it definitely could be in that place of love as, as we have that Ace of Cup as well. Purity. So with a purity, I do feel like you have to stay true to yourself, to your norms and just values. So don't like, you know, things that happen uh, cause you to think negative about someone or something. Just stay true to yourself and rise above the situation no matter what that is coming up uh, within next year. Okay? So keep that in mind. We don't have to become like revengeful. Also, stability is going to play a huge role within your life. Um, uh, my airy soul, uh, I do feel like you want some stability and uh, you're going to get that. Uh, I do feel, as I said, like because of this is going to work out for you, you're going to find more harmony within your life and more stability. 
so that is going to be something that is going to um you know take a huge part within your life whether it is you finding like a new home or you getting like the job that you want or just like the relationship that you want and getting like that peace those are all things that are coming for you within next year so these are the cards that um your angels want you to know step out of your comfort zone and try something new so it might be that upcoming year you have to step out of your comfort zone to see like new opportunities that are coming your way to not focus on maybe what you've lost or you know what has happened but just to focus upon the new things that are coming in your life and that are going to bring you a lot of joy so we have like this card of stay away from drama today which also tells me like you know we have to love all so even though if you want to do that revenge if you want to be angry at someone because something happened stay away from that aries baby i know you have like that fire within you but they want you to stay calm and rise above this situation at any time so my aries souls this was your reading for 2021 i hope that this reading um resonates with you if it did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here and you like what you see consider subscribing to my channel i would love to have you around for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye hi there all my Taurus souls. so let's see what we can get for you for your 2022 predictions and what things are going to play a major role within your life okay so we have like this king of swords coming into your life beautiful souls i do feel like an area sign might be coming into your life so we could talking about the Aquarius, gemini or libra coming into your life but in 2022 i do feel like this person might be a little bit older than you um but is a very intelligent person and who does um has a way of speaking with them they might be like very directly or um they might also be a little bit authoritative so know that this person is coming into your life and i feel like also this year 2022 is going to be um where you are definitely going to move uh past someone or something that you're definitely going to move to maybe a different place or going to leave something behind something maybe that has hurt you in the past or that just wasn't good for you and now you are just a flying away are looking into this new year as a new chance to just move forward okay and also this emperor coming up i do feel it's an enforcement of this uh king of swords but definitely it tells me that a kind of like a father figure is coming into your life a uh, weather or a mother figure but definitely uh, when we have the emperor right here it just talks about a father figure coming into your life being just a little bit older than you or has like that fatherly energy that is going to help you within 2022 or that this definitely could be, you know, someone who is totally obsessed about you and is going to, you know, make that uh, come out within the uh, upcoming year. It could also be with this devil card that you're moving away from certain unhealthy patterns. Um, and that this person is going to help you along to just move from that healthy pattern and just move into things that are just a little bit more healthier for you whether it is, is like toxic person or substance abuse or you know that kind of like stuff or even just you know eating too much candy or <laughs> things that are just not that good for your health and that now you're moving away from that uh in 2022 it could also be that this person is very much obsessed about you and is coming into your life in a good way uh just to show you how much they care about you i do feel 2022 with this sun card right here is going to be a year where you are shining brightly like you are on top of your game you're feeling very very happy it's going to be a very good year for you where you are going to experience a lot of just like happiness which is good because i can feel like it might have been a struggle maybe for you to pull out of this 2021 and now you get to enjoy all those things you're going to enjoy that you're leaving everything behind and even maybe this person coming into your life is going to help you with that 
Now with this high priest, I definitely feel like there's going to be an enforcement of you listening to yourself. So maybe you were, you know, uh, someone who depended on someone else's opinion to move forward, maybe even within relationships. And now this upcoming year is going to be all about you. So maybe people will say, you know, this person is too old for you or this person is this and that and you're not going to listen to that anymore because that is enough with this nine of swords it tells me that enough is enough you have experienced a lot and you have been through a lot and now 2021 is going to be a year where it enough is just going to be enough and a lot of people might be jealous of what you're going to accomplish or maybe about this person coming into your life just protect what you have accomplished. You know, there's always going to be people who are going to be jealous of what you have and what you're going to achieve. You know, when you are happy, people just sometimes don't want you to. People want you to be sad. People don't want you to uh, let you move forward. But now you're realizing in 2022 that that no longer concerns you. You're going to let it all, you know, flow past you. What are the seeds of your intention? Nurture your ideas. You're definitely going to be focusing a lot more on you and what you want in life. And you're definitely going to plant those seeds because you feel happy, you feel joyful, you're ready to move into this next phase of your life by leaving everyone behind you. And it really doesn't matter what people think about this relationship or what people think about this new endeavors. Uh, you're ready to leave that all behind and definitely planting new ideas into the ground because those are the things that you're going to harvest later on within the year or even in 2023 so this is going to be a beautiful year where i do feel like you're going to feel like you revive like you have like a lot of energy to do the things that you want and just be happy whether it is alone or with someone else uh that's going to be like someone that's totally up to you however i feel like you just you're just happy you're just like the ray of sunshine uh up next year so that's going to be something that's really beautiful right okay so let's see what else we have you came from the start so shine bright wow <laughs> this is like so beautiful so definitely you're going to shine your light because you finally feel maybe comfortable within your own skin which hasn't been like that long or you know which has been like something that you were very very doubtful of and now you finally get to shine you finally get to show people who you truly are and you're going to rise from the darkness or a place where maybe you didn't felt comfortable or maybe you know where you dealt with a lot of toxic but definitely now you're moving forward within a more happy place and of course with that my love comes prosperity prosperity is something that i found like so beautiful because it's abundance within a different sense of the word like it's 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 material, it's abundance in, you know, emotional, so it can come in any way to you. So you're definitely going to feel like everything is finally working within your favor and that definitely beautiful things are coming your way. And that's all because, of, because you're accepting exactly who you are. I definitely feel like there's something about maybe your appearance or, you know, something that has happened that just made you doubt just a little bit and now you're finally accepting who you are and by accepting who you are my love you are finally starting to glow you're finally starting to shine and that's maybe what this person is going to notice about you and say like then i want that beautiful soul within my life taurus babies okay so we have the month of january so it might be that this person might come really really fast within your life you know, January, <laughs> that's like just around the corner. We have June and we have, what month do we have? We have July, wow. So we have June, July and January for you, which could be, uh, sorry about that, could be significant months for you 
um, for things to happen, whether it is in love or it is in career, take those months with you. So these are the messages from your angels that I have, create your own happiness. 2022, my love, is going to be all about releasing every, you know, the negative, the jealousy about everyone else and just focusing on how you can reach your own dreams and how you can make them come true, how you can make yourself content. So that is going to be a really, you know, powerful thing that you're going to be focused upon in 2022. And I just want you to know that you have that within your hand. You have everything in your hand to make yourself the sun to make yourself happy again and shine again so that is like really really beautiful so we have two cards popping up popping up tune into your inner peace so find that peace within you which is very very um you know important and to remember change one thing today by starting small so everything that you want to accomplish within the next year starts with this small change smart uh, starts with today so if anything is happening that is negative with you i know thinking about you know major changes and steps can cause anxiety so think about small steps that you want to take and start with that maybe in january by making new goals creating new goals for yourself within the next year so my beautiful taurus souls i hope that this reading resonated with you if it did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here and you like what you see consider subscribing to my channel i would love to have you around for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye hi there beautiful gemini soul so let's hop into your reading to see what major things are going to happen for you within 2022 so the first card that i have here is the empress card now with these empress cards i do feel like something within your appearance is going to be very very important for you within 2022 um, they say like 2021, I meant 2022. Um, so what I'm getting is maybe you're kind of like be focusing more upon your looks within the upcoming year. And it doesn't need to be like something bad, but it does mean that you're going to take more care about yourself, maybe thinking in more beauty. Maybe you want, you know, to look more sophisticated. Maybe you want to do something about your style or something about that. But I definitely feel like you're going to become more conscious and aware on your appearance, but also going to just take more time to nurture yourself which maybe hasn't been a priority for you within this year now the way the ace of wands i do feel that is because you want to move forward you want maybe a new beginning uh, maybe you know something happened within this year that you think you know i'm done with this year i'm done with everything that's happened and i need to focus upon myself i need to i want like a change and especially that just relates so well with the Gemini like energy. Sometimes you want like that change or like that drastically you want to change like something. And definitely feel like that is where you're going to go from. And with this King of Coin, it might be that um, a King of Coins, so saying like an Earth sign will come into your life. So we're talking about Vigo, Taurus or Capricorn that might enter your life within 2022. So keep that in mind, whoever is coming your way. So we also have with this Eight of Cups and with the Eight of Cups, I definitely feel, as I said, like within this year, something might have happened that caused you a lot of hurt or a lot of pain. And now within the upcoming year, you're thinking, you know, I'm definitely, I'm done with this. I no longer want to carry this burden, this stress that this relationship has brought me or that this situation has brought me. And you're definitely moving forward past this you know disappointment past this loss from this person so 2022 is going to be a year where you're going definitely to focus upon yourself and realizing how beautiful you are and can be without this person okay and leaving behind all the stress now we have the nine of coins now leaving behind all of this stress is going to help you to achieve whichever successful endeavor that you wanted to accomplish but that you didn't get it to focus upon maybe your work because all of these things were happening maybe in the background so maybe if you were focusing within this year on a relationship that just couldn't you know work or things um because of that relationship uh, couldn't work out in 2022 that's all going to change i am seeing that you are going to create something that is going to bring you a lot of just abundance and i definitely see this being in a working area so think about you know going to a job where you finally get that promotion or just like have enough to just be 
putting your feet up and just like relaxing and enjoying every wealth that you have and that you've achieved so that is coming because you have like this mind focus in next year and when you are going to prioritize yourself and your business and this is going to make you very very successful in everything that you do so we also have like this nine of coins now with this nine of coins it's definitely remind me of this king of coins that might also come up into your life so we're talking again about Virgo Taurus of Capricorn so it might be that these two people or they are dissimilar that will come into your life so keep that you know in your mind that someone might be coming uh in your life now I do feel that um maybe someone might come from your past that has like the same energy that's coming from your future but that you know somehow they're tied with each other so maybe this person changed maybe this person has grown or will show a type of grown within next year if you're not like someone who has like a relationship it might be that just someone who has like an earthy sign will come into your life i also feel like there might be a business venture within a page of a sort so think about someone who um you know might be um an air sign here, we're talking about Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra that might come into your life and help you with that. I also feel that you'll start more within upcoming years to stand up for your belief and the things that you want in your life because maybe this person in the past has hold you from just showing who you are, was maybe holding you back from your own potentials. And now you're finally again with this full card starting this new journey. You're embarking this new journey with a lot of faith and happiness with uh, upcoming years. So I definitely feel for you, uh, my Gemini babies, that you're ready to just hop into this new year and enjoy whatever is coming up in your life and just having like that energy like, yeah, dang, I'm like ready for this new year. I'm like ready for everything that's coming my way. So let's see which months might be significant for you. So we have the August card right here popping up for you. So that might be a significant month for you within upcoming year. So let's see what else we have. We have the card of November. Ooh, wow, a lot of cards. We have December, September, and June. So a lot of cards might be very, very important. Uh, a lot of months might be very, very important for you as a lot of cards are popping up for you. And I'm not going to hide them. I'm just going to show you right here so you know which months might be relevant to you. So it does show that a lot of things are going to happen within upcoming year for you. So that's really, really exciting. It also shows that you need to be patient for things to come to fruition. So you might not see them as you see right away when the year start but that things need time to work out so don't be impatient when you're not seeing like all the fruits of your labor coming when you're not seeing like right away the nine of coins there all your abundance and all the money you're like okay but dang i know i'm working hard and i know like you know everything is going my way but i'm not seeing it coming just realize that sometimes you need that time and patience to come and that will start maybe at the end of the year okay so keep that in mind that sometimes it takes time just for things to happen so let's see what else we've got here for you so what else we have here so we have the card of prosperity for you which definitely emphasizes the, the card of the nine of coins, which talks about, you know, prosperity, abundance coming in for you within 2022. Also, we have here the card of healing, which tells me that you'll be healing from all of this, you know, drama that happened within the past. This person holding you back from your potential, you'll be leaving that all behind. And again, we have the card of the strength right here, which tells me that you are going to be independent and feeling like you can take whatever is is coming within your life um, because you have managed to escape this person you've managed to uh, start your own business venture within 2022 
So the angels want you to know to let go of control and relax into the flow. So you might be someone who wants to hold tight uh, to things that, you know, happen or want to control things that happen. But don't worry, this year is going to be to show you the flexibility and letting go that sometimes we need to trust the universe exactly where that full car says just to have faith and just, you know, uh, let go of the control issue to know that everything is going to be just A-OK. -okay. Take that leap of faith. So perform a random act of kindness. They want you to know when you have enough to share. So when you have accumulated a lot of wealth within, you know, upcoming year, remind yourself to do something nice because what comes around goes around. So my beautiful Gemini souls, this was your personalized reading for the upcoming year. I hope that it resonated with you. If it did, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you around. For now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see See you in my next one. Bye. Hi there, beautiful Cancer Cell. So let's hop into your reading to see exactly what's coming up for you within 2022. So the first card that we have here is the Four of Wands. Wow, so definitely you're going to work on your stability right there. So I feel like you're building something for the future. I feel like there is like a long-term planning that has been going on within 2021. And finally, you're, you're kind of like taking that step in next year to make it come true. Also, if you are in that stage of your life where you're ready to marry or something like that, then that is going to happen for you within upcoming year. I do feel like for some of you guys it will be that your current relationship will move on to the next relationship so if you guys are also into uh planning into making uh a family or something that will be something that will happen or marriage will happen there for you within upcoming year so that's beautiful also with the seven of coins i do see you guys are working really really hard to accomplish the things that you have been working on and maybe you guys feel sad that things aren't moving as quickly as you guys think maybe you guys are thinking like that but i worked like this hard within this year so i want to see really fast fruits i want to harvest things you know at the beginning of uh 2022 well that might not be something that ha will happen kind of like right away but don't be disappointed because sometimes things need to happen behind the scenes guys i keep saying that but before you can see it within you know the 3d realm so don't be disappointed but there are definitely things that are working within your favor because you're creating very very beautiful beautiful things so don't worry about that i am seeing that it is going to happen for you now within the eight of swords uh, I'm definitely seeing that you might be just so so afraid that the things that you are working on might not you know come out I am seeing like a fear of the things you know sometimes you think okay maybe I am working hard because I'm not seeing it I'm doing something wrong or something like that maybe you're feeling like uh kind of like entrapment in your fear because you're like okay but am I not seeing I'm not seeing so this fear of you not not seeing anything and just working hard is kind of like contradicting that emotion and is putting you down so they definitely want you to know to keep you being optimistic even if you're not seeing anything because big things are happening and you are creating things that are going to flourish very very beautiful in the near future now within this dead card i am seeing for you as well in 2022 that you're going to go uh, under a certain transformation I am seeing that you are becoming more mature within 2022. So whether it is because you're learning throughout this phase or because you're moving into a more deeper stage of your relationship or because you're marrying or because you're creating, you know, a family or something like that, there is going to be a major transformation within yourself. And by, you know, moving through that transformation, it's also going to help you within every, you know, single venture that you want, whether this is relationship or whether it is business, it is going to help you to move forward. So then we have the six of cups. Now with the six of cups, I definitely see here that you are sometimes uh, are going to go back to uh, in a time where you might think, you know, is this going to happen? And I've done that and you might be going like towards your childhood memories and wanting 
to have like that freely emotion again just to not to think about anything to not like have maybe those worries and feeling like that anxiety but don't worry because this will help you to mature within upcoming year and i feel the more the year progresses you will become this queen of coins and this queen of coins is a really really beautiful card to have because this beautiful card talks about how you are going to get that feeling that you are in control of your business, that you are in control of your emotions, and that you are definitely getting what you want. So it's someone who's very, very balanced and who definitely achieved whatever they have started at the beginning of the year. And also you are going to get more balance within the work life area. So if you felt like a little bit unbalanced, if you were like kind of like unsure, like I'm working hard, but I also want a family. I, you know, I also want love into my life. If this is something that you were thinking about, that is all going to come into a little bit of balance within upcoming year. You're going to find that freedom and that peace within both area within upcoming year. So let's see which months might be relevant for you in the upcoming year. So let's see what we have here for you, my Cancer souls. So the first month that I have here for you is July. So that's a really beautiful month. So that's also kind of like cancer season so you guys will be thriving into your own season into your own energy so that is really really beautiful we also have the november month which might be uh, relevant to you guys and what else do we have right here we have September. So we have September, July, November. So that is exactly what it's like talking about. It might be that you might not see the things happening in the beginning of the year. Or you might be working like really hard and knowing that you're doing something amazing, but you're not seeing the fruits of your labor yet. But no, that once cancer season starts, my love, that you'll start seeing fruits of everything that's happening, okay? So let's move on to the Oracle cards and see uh, what else we can get for you, my beautiful Cancerians. So we have Wisdom and we have Sanctuary. So now with this Wisdom card, I do feel like in the upcoming year, you'll be getting a lot of wisdom. You'll be getting a lot of knowledge and that's because you'll go to different phases in your life upcoming year in which I see where you'll find like more maturity and with maturity also comes that wisdom. Also, it's important for you, my Cancer's baby, to just treat yourself beautifully and nice. So take time with all of this hard work to also take care of yourself. So taking that long bath, just, you know, giving yourself just time to appreciate what you have been doing. And also if you have family or, you know, a lover or, you know, just another person in your life to give them also that time because they desperately want that time from you as well so let's see what else we have for you we have freedom so i do feel like a little bit of freedom will come into your life because uh, at the end of the year you'll no longer uh feel that um fear that you're not going to succeed because you're finally going to see the fruits of your labor and that is really going to help you out now also what's going to help you out to not to hang on so tightly to things maybe that um are so comfortable to you that you feel like you know i want to hang on to and uh, by ho hanging on to all the olds you're just not allowing this energy to move forth which is very very beautiful uh, for you within 2022 so let's get into the last angel messages that i have for you so we have here again step out of your comfort zone and trying something new so if you have been you know working in an area on you know where you are so focused upon just like you know this is the way that i need to accomplish this then let it go and see like which other ways are more effective to you. That's exactly what you're going to figure out within 2022 because you're ready to see things in a different perspective, which comes with that maturity and that wisdom. So trust your intuition. She's always right. And to find that way, my cancer babies, that's going to be you trusting your instincts within the 2022. So my beautiful cancer babies, this was your reading. I hope that it definitely resonates with you. If it did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you around. For now, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Hi there, my beautiful 
Leo soul. So let's hop into your reading to see what beautiful predictions I have for you for the upcoming year. So we're starting with this page of coins. Now with this page of coins, I definitely feel that you might, uh, upcoming year might be looking forward into some new ventures. Um, business venture that you want to undertake but maybe you are a little bit uncertain about you know how to undertake these business ventures maybe there are you know some things that you're doubting about if you know if there's maybe any way that you could get like a clear sign or a message from this and that's exactly what you're going to get within uh, 2022 because Clarity is going to come within you. I am feeling maybe you are contemplating on certain business ideas and are definitely not sure and how to move forward with these. But however, you know, in 2022, next year, you're going to get clarity on how you can uh, move forward within this venture. And I do feel because maybe you're unsure about this venture, it might be that you're holding tight to money or that you're unsure about, you know, how you can accumulate wealth or, you know, how you can deal with this um, health, uh, wealth, sorry, wealth. With this death card, I do feel like there's going to be a transformation. So it might be at the beginning that you might be very, very unsure. You might be holding on to your, you know, um, your cash because you don't know maybe how it's going to work out. So maybe it's something that you're starting new or some type of business venture, but you're just like unsure about it. You're not sure maybe on how this is all going to work out, if it's going to fill or it's going to, you know, be blooming or something like that. But within the year or, you know, maybe at the beginning, maybe at the year, you know, something will happen that will help you to transform into a more positive mindset and that will show you how you can balance all of these emotions and get control out of like this anxiety or, you know, doubts that you're having. So I am um, getting that you'll be like a little bit more in control of your emotions at the beginning. So you can start giving like more insight and clarity into your situation and where you uh, have to go because I do feel like this situation is causing you a lot of kind of like emotional distress if you might call it like that way and with this knight of swords I am feeling like at some point you will be noticing that you want to move forward so it might be at the beginning of the year you might not know like you know if you want to move forward but you're definitely going to be able to move forward and even though it's going to be maybe a long road for you to move forward with this nine of wands it might not be easy because there are a lot of things maybe going on that are holding you back but once you start moving forward i am seeing a clear path for you within 2022 and this star here is going to bring you a little bit or a lot closer to your destiny so i am seeing a life path here i'm also seeing just um a wish coming true coming into fulfillment and just you finding peace in general in that you know kind of like way that you you went like the path that you've chosen so let's see what else we can get for you for 2022 so we have listened to your spirit guides. They'll show you the way. So definitely, yeah, you are feeling maybe very, very troubled about where you have to go. But don't worry because you see like this a person, you know, pending with their coin. They don't know yet where they have to go. But soon enough, you will find, you know, answer to where you need to go. Just so listen to your own intuition and follow those guidance from your uh, angels or spirit guides. You're a child of the universe. What an honor it is to be a part of something that is divine so with this i am getting that you need to trust the universe and take that leap of faith and know that wherever you're going wherever this new path is taking you even if you are afraid because maybe you're changing maybe because you're losing a certain income for a while or something like that it is going to take you to a path where eventually you will feel more happy and more successful than you've ever been kind of like before and that is because you need to trust that it's okay now with this letting go card is 
it also tells me that you need to let go of certain things things that uh, might scare you maybe even material things that might have scare you uh, but by holding on to it you are standing in your own way so 2022 is going to be a year where you get out of your own way and just allow this beautiful energy just to pull through and to show you where you need to be and where you are going to be more successful than you are at this moment but sometimes we need to go like to a scary time before we we can end up where we need to be and with this card of protection i just feel like you are protected these bright guys just wants you to know that you are protected and also with the refugee cards and this renewal card it shows me that new things are coming into your life and sometimes again we need to let go of you know that feeling of wanting to have like everything in control and not wanting to step out of your comfort zone. So 2022 is going to be a year where you learn to step out of your comfort zone and realizing that stepping out of your comfort zone is something that can bring new and positive and beautiful energy towards you. So let's see what these spirits have to say. You are pure magic. So remind yourself that you are lovable and that you are worthy of this love and that you are worthy of this change. So don't become too doubtful of yourself and maybe think that you're incapable of making this decision or incapable of making this change because you aren't. You are gorgeous and beautiful the way you are. Your soul whisper love, your ego shouts fear. So keep this like in mind. And also I have tuned into your inner peace. So talk about this like you know you know you're deserving of love you know you're deserving of this new way so let go of that fear and trust the universe and trust your guides that they are leading you to the perfect divine way within next year now tune into your inner peace i know that this change that's coming within your life is going to help you get more peace now the months that might be relevant to you are the months november right here that i have for the upcoming year and we have april and we have march so these might be the months that are very very relevant and beautiful things might happen or a change might happen within these months so my beautiful leo babies it's a fiery year for you where you have to change a lot and beautiful things are coming with that so i hope that this reading resonated with you if it did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here and you like what you see consider subscribing to my channel i would love to have you around for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye Hi there, my beautiful Virgo baby. So let's hop into your reading to see exactly what is coming up for you in upcoming year. So we have the star right here. So with the star, I definitely feel that something beautiful is manifesting in 2022 for you. And with that eight of coins, I definitely feel that is something that you have worked really hard upon. That is finally my beautiful soul coming in reality for you in 2022. So whatever is coming up now in your mind, that might be exactly what I'm talking about. So if this is a business venture, if this might be you know a beautiful relationship that is coming into your life whatever you have been contemplating upon it has been something that you have worked really really hard and have talked like really really long about that is manifesting within 2022 for you and is going to make a really huge part of your life now also with the high priest here i'm getting that 2022 will be a year where your intuition is going to speak a lot is going to be maybe a very spiritual year for you where you can get like a lot of enlightenment or a lot of things kind of like happening that you might feel like oh dang you know it's kind of like divine timing happening and that's exactly the emotion that you feel with this you know manifestation coming up with that star it's kind of like you know when things are perfectly aligning and are coming into rotation you're kind of like dang you know this is kind of like magical what's happening here also with this four of swords i do feel like it's going to be a year where you finally get to rest from that hard work you have worked like really really hard for the things to come into fruitation and now you're finally finally getting to see the results of the work and getting to that new beginning where you finally get to rest and enjoy like the good things that are coming i definitely feeling this manifestation will bring you a new beginning with this wheel of fortune i also feel like whew, 
not my Bambi. <laughs> but with this Wheel of Fortune, I definitely feel like, oh damn, like something really beautiful aligning up, like your chakras finally coming into peace. Like, you know, you finally feel relieved that you're finally seeing the harvest this manifestation coming true with this nine of swords i definitely feel um a lot of things have gone through this a lot of maybe you lost a lot of people maybe you you know people uh hurt you a lot or there was like a lot of sorrow and and you know heartache into this manifestation and now it's finally coming that's like so so beautiful for you guys to finally have it manifested this way so i do feel december in uh upcoming year will be a very important month for you um we could also kind of like be talking the december miracles for next year um so keep that in mind and we have august right here coming up for you and we have the may card so let's move on to other oracle cards that may tell me what else is happening for you in the upcoming uh, year, my Virgo babies. So we have August, also your month being there. So definitely your energy is shining through in that August month, my Virgo baby being like early and well and just creating that space for yourself. So definitely you're transcending from one place to another because I can feel you're finally seeing, you know, you're manifesting. You're finally maybe starting to see how you can journalize things, how you can make like your manifestation come to, you know, the 3D. Maybe you've learned some new techniques and you're going to improve that within uh, the upcoming year. That is definitely helping you to transcend to the next level. And also this is going to help you to find more freedom. I feel like financially freedom but also feeling just like free from everyone else so this manifestation that is coming into your life is definitely help you to become more independent and just like trust in yourself and eventually to create that own freedom for yourself so whether it's financially freedom or anything else you're moving into a place where you feel like huh, okay i've done this i've worked hard i've been through that but now i finally can enjoy it and i can leave it all behind and that is the renewal phase for you in the upcoming year which is actually really really beautiful get to kind of like shed like that old um and see you know, like um like uh how do you say it oh my gosh i cannot believe that i forgot like this word a snake skin that's like what i'm seeing like shedding all the old things know that you have worked like really hard for whatever is coming towards you and just seeing it manifest like this beautiful that's like gorgeous for you so let's move into the angel messages that i have get creative and excited uh uh, and incite your imagination with wonder. So I do feel like for all of this to happen, it does ask for you to be a little bit creative. So whether it is journaling or learning new techniques, which is going to help you to manifest whatever you want, that is exactly what is coming your way. So you worked hard, my beautiful one, but it's definitely going to help you out. Allow unlimited abundance to come in your life. So definitely believe that you're capable to attract all of this goodness towards you, my Virgo uh, babies, and that it's all going to help you uh, or come through within 2021. So my beautiful souls, this was the reading for you. If it did uh, resonate with you, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing. I would love to have you around for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hi there, my Libra soul. So let's hop into your reading to see exactly what's coming up for you within next year. So let's see what we have for your reading. Wow, so we've got the Queen of Cups right here. So for you, my beautiful souls, I do feel like... Um, uh, next year is going to be a pretty beautiful emotional year for you. So whether this is because you are maturing emotionally, you're becoming like more aware of your emotion or something pretty beautiful is going to happen for you within, um, within the love area or within the emotion area that is something that we have to see here so definitely with the page of cups i am seeing maybe a new love coming into your life next year and this person is definitely wearing their heart upon their sleeve for you so i definitely feel like love is going to be a major um topic for you 
for upcoming year with my Libra babies. And then we have the Four of Swords. And I do feel that it's also going to be a year where you get to rest, where you get to enjoy just kind of like maybe maybe this was like a turbulent year for you and you're ready to just like enjoy this year and just kind of like you know being like the fool starting embarking on like this new journey just like kind of like i feel like you are embarking 22 just with this whole sense like okay i'm just ready to just embark on this journey with just this confidence just like being free just like yolo just like you know just enjoying life and i feel like you have like this new energy even though everything that <coughs> excuse me everything that has passed within this year you have like this energy that you know whatever comes my way i can handle it i'm good with it and that's exactly what you have like here with this magician i feel like you even before like 2022 starts, I feel like you guys are so, so ready to face this year to just like be like, dang, I'm ready for this. Bring it on. I'm like definitely ready for this venture. I'm like definitely where you definitely feel like you have like everything like in your hand to make it happen. I feel like you feel that you know, everything is kind of like working within your favor that you feel magical within that you have like all of these emotions that are just kind of like favorable to you. And with the six of, six of coins, I also feel like almost like this little child energy, that enthusiastic energy that's coming. And that actually correlates very, very well with that full card right here that just shows that I feel like you have immense kind of like uh wanting to move into this upcoming years. Uh, year and with the queen of wands it definitely shows me that um you're ready you're ready to take like this year like none of the other years before and maybe because you have met someone new that is bringing this energy within your life or someone is going to come within your life kind of like pretty soon that is going to help you to embark this new year feel like you can uh, accomplish anything if no one is coming kind of like in your life, then I do feel like this year is going to be a year when you're definitely going to focus upon new adventure, whether it is you're setting sail into moving like in a new adventure or starting kind of like fresh where you feel like, okay, I'm just ready to take like whatever is coming my way. Uh, that's like exactly you know the full card any magician card following kind of like each other starting on that business and then finding out that you have like everything within your bag to make anything come true your dreams come true that's exactly how you're going to feel out throughout the whole year and just having like that childlike energy that you feel so so uh aesthetic and just like enthusiastic for the things that have to come and definitely wanting to you know make things happen within the upcoming year so we have july card popping out and then a lot of other cards so we have the june card here we have the may card september here so we have like all mid april may september july wow i cannot like believe that all of these cards kind of like flew out uh but yeah so we have like this card coming uh for you so it might be like just right you know, in the middle of the year, there are a lot of things happening for you. And maybe this person coming into your life, showing you that energetic, you know, love sensation. You're kind of like, oh, dang, I didn't know. Like, I'm, I'm feeling like so happy and so good. And just, you know, want to start like this adventure with you or just like this. It could also be like you feeling like you can, you can take like whatever is new on your path. Just like feeling feeling so passionate about something, feeling like so good about something that makes you kind of like super emotional. So we've got the card of gratitude and we got the card of flexibility. Now with this, it shows me that sometimes things might happen within these months that will ask from you to adapt to new situation. Know that you have at all times all the cards within your hand. So don't panic when things might not go your way, but keep reminding yourself that sometimes you need to adapt to new things. So it's up to you to be flexible to all of these new things that come into your life. And that will definitely help you to get like, you know, to go like on this business or on this relationship journey that you're on. 
also to be grateful for everything that you receive for everything that might happen into your life within 2022 uh, be grateful and also show that gratefulness by giving something back but also um just by appreciating that sometimes we can get things without like feeling guilty so 2022 might also be like that year where you receive a lot and will you have to realize that that's okay if a person loves you and a person wants to give you kind of like gifts that's okay appreciate that and just enjoy that as well so we've got the cards with align your intention with your action and forgive someone okay so it might be this person wearing their heart on their sleeve that you need to forgive or someone maybe from your past ex or someone that you need to forgive so you can open up to this new love coming into your life also align your intentions with your actions if you want to manifest something make sure that your thoughts are aligned with your actions and that those things matches because that is going to help you a lot with your manifestation so let's get into the less oracle cards for you for the upcoming year which is you are safe to make mistakes um you are safe to be uh imperfect so i do see here um that sometimes you might worry that um you might make mistakes or that things are not good enough so it might also be that you need to forgive yourself for making those mistakes so to know that you know it's okay to be imperfect we don't need to do like everything in a perfect order to become like that you know robotic person <laughs> everyone makes mistakes and don't be like too harsh on yourself when you make like those mistakes it's just going to keep you like hugged in one place if you keep you know being mean to yourself that's like what i'm getting don't be mean to yourself your outer world is a reflection of your inner realm so again it's about align your intentions with your actions so be mindful about what you want to say what you're putting into your the universe what you have inside you that's exactly what you're going to attract because that is what you're representing in the outer world so keep that in mind so my beautiful libra babies this was your reading if it did resonate with you be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here and you like what you see consider subscribing to my channel i would love to have you around for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye hi there my beautiful sagittarian soul so let's hop into your reading to see what's coming up for you for the next year and what beautiful energy is coming so we have here the moon card with the king of cups and the devil right here for you now with this moon card i definitely feel that the beginning of upcoming year might be where you are so much into your own head that sometimes it can become your own reality so i'm getting that 2022 will be the year where you stop going into your head and talking negative about yourself or about certain situations it's going to be you getting in control of your emotions with that king of cups and with that also letting go of any negative pattern that might come up with all of that negative thinking Sag what is up with that so you're releasing all these negative patterns within yourself that you're talking yourself down that you can accomplish things maybe that you know you're not good enough that maybe you don't look good enough uh, that you're not worth it anything like that that's going to be released within 2022 because you're totally getting in control over your emotions also i am seeing that a lot of people are going to envy you within the upcoming year and that will make you feel a little bit insecure that might arise you know some doubts but don't because they're just going to be a little bit jealous of all the things that you're going to accomplish because a lot of your manifestations are going to come true within the upcoming year so then we have as well the six of cups and the knight of wands now i do feel like with the people that are going to be jealous of you are people maybe from your past or um are going to arise like certain childhood traumas from you so be careful with that with the upcoming years uh year and then we have the knight of wands here i do feel like this person is going to be a significant person within the upcoming year 
Um, so it might be a fiery sign. So it could be that we're talking about um, Leo, Aries of uh, Sag. So it could be like another uh, Sag coming your way. And with this Queen of Wands, I definitely feel that you are going to get like in control and getting like the motivation to move forward into your endeavors, but also in relationship, whatever is coming your way, you're going to feel motivated again and inspired again to take the next step to go and move and to make your manifestation come because you're finally are going to release all of these negative energies or emotions that are within you. So let's move now to the other cards to see which months might be relevant for you in the upcoming year. So let's see what we have for you. So we have April could be a really uh, important month for you. So pay attention to that. We have February which could be an, a very interesting month for you. And then alas, we have, what month do we have? We have July. So take those three months into consideration with the upcoming years. There could be beautiful things happening for you within this month. So let's move now to the other Oracle cards to see what else we can get for the messages for you. So don't let, you know, any any person come and talk things to you, make you feel bad about yourself or anything like that. So we have you are whole. You don't need anyone to complete you. You will always be whole. So what is that for a beautiful message for you? So definitely you're going to realize that you don't need other people confirmation. You don't need like their acknowledgement to be who you are. So all of these doubts that you've created all of these past years within your mind, within yourself, that is going to be released within the upcoming year you're going to feel whole again uh you're going to feel like you don't need their approval so whether it is your parents whether it is you know uh people who are close to you childhood friends it doesn't matter you're going to leave that all behind many things had to align for you to be here the fact that you are on this earth right now is an utter miracle again it's talking about how you're so worthy of being here in this universe that you're so worthy of just being alive that you don't need confirmation from anyone else to let you feel this worthy. Know that you are worthy without all of these people words. So definitely in 2022, my beautiful uh, Sag, it's going to be a year where you're going to realize the word of yourself. So that is really amazing. You can always be kinder to yourself. This, I cannot like believe how beautiful these cards are all aligning up, but I do feel like if you have been going through a situation where you feel like you've lost yourself because people are talking bad about you or maybe because someone wasn't like good for you and made you feel like you wasn't you were uh you are not worthy of anything that is all going to change because you're going to kind of like reinvent yourself and change your mind and just like be kinder to yourself within the upcoming year so let's see what else we have here for you. So we have the flow card here, which tells me to just allow this energy to happen. Don't fight it because it's only going to um, hold you back from your growth. So let it all flow. Just enjoy that you're growing and also believe in all of these miracles. Look at that beautiful rainbow coming from this beautiful water, uh, waterfall and also like this butterfly. It definitely tells me that ever a, maybe a, Difficult period, something beautiful is now going to happen for you in the upcoming year. And with this strength card, it definitely shows that you're becoming much stronger within the upcoming year. You're definitely going to find your strength to pull through things and to get rid of these negative thoughts. And retreat here, we're talking about going inwards, just trusting yourself, aside like from everyone else, just trusting yourself and just, you know, getting comfortable that... What you have is enough and that your thoughts need to be beautiful for you just to feel beautiful. You don't need like anyone else. So let's get into the last Oracle cards to see what your spirit wants to tell you or your angels. So we have embrace your inner divine goddess. You are beautiful. This talks about the feminine energy so that you're kind to yourself, that you're nurturing to yourself and just not let that negative energy from any other people get to you in the upcoming year okay 
show off your sparkle and shine from inside look at how gorgeous this person looks, and she's smiling she's enjoying life and i feel that is going to be you within the next year you're going to shed like all of these bad things negative things that people talked about you and made you feel like and you're finally going to feel like you can rock it all again and just like be you with with releasing all of these negative patterns and just, you know, getting control back over your emotions and your life. So my beautiful Sag, this was your reading. If it resonated with you, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you around. For now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hi there, my beautiful Capricorn soul. So let's hop into your reading to see what is going on for you within uh 2022 wow so with this emperor card i am seeing that 2022 is going to be a year where you definitely are going to shine and where you are going to feel like the sun i feel like this is going to be a very very good year for you i am seeing maybe um also just a year where you're going just to take time for yourself to relax just to enjoy yourself but also i feel like wealth luxury coming your way within upcoming year uh with this sun card i absolutely am seeing that this year is going to be a year full of just happy moments for you enjoying life uh, a lot of laughter just being like a very very good and positive year for you capricorn so what is going on within this i feel like you're definitely in your element the upcoming year like there is something major that maybe you have accomplished and now you're just like enjoying this beautiful moment so let's see what else we can get for you so we have the page of cups wow this this really reminds me almost like of i don't know like who was like this reading but it might be that a person is coming into your life capricorn and i just like to have a reading that is quite similar to this reading but it might be that this person uh, coming into your life is like a new love and that's why maybe you're feeling like all happy and joyful and feeling like oh, nothing can break like your year so um, yeah, with this page of cup, it's definitely like someone who uh, is bringing like this new love opportunity within your life, and that definitely kind of like stirs like that romantic um, emotions uh, within your heart. It could also be that it might be like a business venture that you're super excited about and that you're very very looking forward to and that you're see that it's just like emotionally fulfilling to you and also with that seven of cups i am seeing that there are a lot of opportunities coming for you within upcoming year however you might feel maybe a little bit overwhelmed by all the opportunities that are coming because you're full of emotion as well um but no to take that time to consider which opportunities work best for you because you know you cannot do like all the things at once so you have to learn to balance like all the things out especially if you are like in love or if all of these things start on your emotion it could be that you want to dive like into all of, like these new ideas however you need to consider uh you know which uh business uh, ideas you want to move forth with especially with the three of coins which one do you want to collaborate which one do you want to kind of like move forward with um so that can become like more um successful because when you're kind of like juggling a lot um it's not going to be it's not going to be you know you're not going to be able to juggle like them all like a hundred percent or give like your full within that hundred percent but no like with all of these business ventures there is like some great possibilities coming through so really think about which one you want to join forces with um and uh you know which one are definitely are going to be good for your future so we have like the justice card right here and with the justice card i definitely feel like at a point you'll kind of like just know which way you have to go and which venture just like feel good to you and you will know that kind of like sooner rather than later within the year that you just know okay that's like the venture that i need to go with so with all of these opportunities one is definitely going to uh be the one that you move forward with now it could be 
it could be with seeing like these ace of cups it could be that you have multiple relationships going on here or multiple people who are interested in you and that you're going to go like pick one and that that is going to be the one that you will move forth with uh within this year then we have this card of February. So definitely within your energy here, we have Capricorn, January, February. So be aware that that is, you know, the month in where you're going to shine up most or going to feel like, oh, you can handle it all. Then we have December right here that could be very significant for you as well in the upcoming year. And last, we have here the month of June. So keep that in mind. So let's move on to other oracle cards to see what else we can get for you for the upcoming year. So we have here, listen to your spirit guides. They will show you the way. So if you have kind of like multiple options going on there, whether it is business or relationship, listen to your intuition because your guides are definitely showing you which one you have to pick or which one might be, you know, work more in your favor. favor. So uh keep looking out for that signs whether they come like in dreams or whether you know they're just like angelic signs or other signs just keep an eye open for that so you are whole you don't need anyone to complete you you'll always be whole so uh wh whoever you're searching for within maybe love keep reminding yourself that you don't need anyone to make you whole so whoever is coming within your life needs to be whole and you need need to be whole as well before you come together also um what did i wanted to say um you are whole um to make a decision within all of these cups to one that makes you feel like you like you, you know whatever adventure you are going through that you can truly shine and be just like who you are that is the venture that is definitely going to help you um to achieve the things that you want so let's move on to other oracle cards let's see what else we have here for you what do we have for the beautiful Capricorn soul? So what more can we show them for the year of 2022? Let's see, what do we have here? So we have a lot of cards kind of like popping out. So we have the transformation card right here, which tells me that 2022 is also going to be a card where you are going to transform transform into becoming a more of this empress and whether this is because you know you're going to mature a little bit more because of this person coming into your life i'm definitely feeling a transformation also with the tr uh, empress it could be that you're going to be going to a glow up or something or you know experiencing something in that area so definitely keep that in mind so we have chaos and it might be that because you have a lot of options at the beginning you might feel like there is a little bit of chaos or restlessness emotions at the beginning of the year but the more you trust this instinct the more you follow that intuition you will find you know which option you need to choose with that sanctuary here it correlates so good with that empress card to always keep reminding to you know uh, be good to yourself and create a safe a spot within your home or within every you know any area of your life where you can completely get to rest and just like be yourself and just calm down and relax so whatever it is like taking a long bath with candles or going like away with a good book or just like walking in the nature and just clearing your mind whatever works for you and then we have your focus and with this focus it's very important here with these upcoming um, options that you have going on you're going to need your focus to make like the correct um uh choice right there so you're going to need your focus um because you want to you know you want to pick the right one you want to go to the right endeavor that will help you to collaborate and just like put you on that right path so where you can definitely accumulate a lot of wealth and abundance and happiness into your life so let's move on to the uh spirit angel uh message that i have for you so we have here two cards that are popping out so we have your get back to nature and reconnect to your hippie roots so what i say like whatever works for you within the sanctuary whether it's going outside and just like how just smelling that uh fresh air just like going to the beach or something like that do something which kind of like 
can help you relax and just like get to that focus point so where you can see like to what truly matches with you and also to notice the signs from your spirit guides and angels and keep your thoughts positive now i know do maybe some storms it can be your chaos that it's easy to fall into the trap to start thinking like negative i cannot see it i cannot do this or i'm not seeing it or something like that which will um disturb you from seeing things clearly so keep a positive mind within upcoming year and you will see that you will stay in that empress um state where you vibe and where you take care of yourself and when you see like you know all of these options that are coming are good things and once you get like that out you will pick the ones that truly matches with you and move forward with that so my beautiful capricorn soul this was your reading i hope that it resonated with you if it did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here and you like what you see consider subscribing to my channel i would love to have you around for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye hi there my beautiful aquarius soul so let's hop into your reading and see what is coming up for you for the upcoming year so what do we have here for you so we have the high priest so i feel like this year my beautiful aquarius babies that you're going to focus upon the occult now that might not sound like totally a little bit you know scary or something like that but i definitely feel like you're going to get like a lot more in touch with your intuition so if you might have felt a little bit disconnected with yourself then that is all going to change upcoming year also i do feel that maybe for some of you guys it will be that you guys will get into a more spiritual path so maybe um you guys will start to do like some courses or you know kind of like want to get more into the spiritual world just to see like what it has to offer for you guys so we have the full card here and i do feel with the full card you're at the beginning of this journey you're you know just taking like a leap of faith so maybe you're starting within a new culture or you're starting just like this whole spiritual practice this is kind of like new for you guys and you guys really want to kind of like get to know like what is up with that you know what what does this mean for me you know having like this spiritual experience and i do feel it might have been because someone has stirred this emotion within you so it might have been because you guys have met your kind of like twin flame the uh the last year as we have like this high priest also coming uh twice we have the high priest coming twice right here oh my god that's like so so amazing so i do feel like it could have been because it's a connection that you guys have made through a person that is like so much on your mind that you need to you need to figure out where this is going you need to get like more clarity about this union about this person especially when we have like the priestess here and the high priest here i do feel like this is something that has you know that is just like new within your life now whether this hasn't happened before or it's going to happen it's going to stir like a lot of emotions within your life and i do feel like it's it's definitely going to um uh, make you think like where you have in your life or where you want to be or you know where this uh, journey is going to take you now with this queen of coins i definitely feel throughout the year you will progress from not knowing where you want to be to definitely knowing where you are and want to be so making those dreams uh coming true and your goals like very very clear and instead of making small terms plan you're going to be focusing upon the future and it might be the future with this person or it might be just your future in general think about you know just life creating stability for your yourself or just creating uh, accumulating kind of like more wealth or something for that uh, for yourself it's definitely being like a focus upon what's coming up next for me what do i want to reach within upcoming years instead of just like focusing upon the here and now and that is all because you're thinking more deeply within um you know going more deeply within yourself really connecting with that higher self and becoming more authentic uh, upcoming year 
Don't you remember how unconditionally loved you are? So with that, also like going inwards and just like getting maybe to that twin flame, to that divine connection, but also getting to that connection within yourself will help you to remember how loved you are and how connected we are all in this whole divine place called the world. So um, I definitely feel like there's going to be like a depth within the meaning of your life and within your relationships the upcoming year, which is really, really beautiful because not all of us get to experience that. So then we have, what do we have here? Show up as your highest self. What did I tell you guys? So there's going to be a connection with yourself, whether this is because of a truly relationship coming in and mirroring you so you get to that higher point of yourself. But however, you are going deep and you are getting to know yourself in ways that you haven't done before. And this journey is a completely new journey for you. So yeah, you're going to figure a lot of things out about yourself and making the plans for that generosity now remember in this year to be kind and gentle and to share whatever you accumulate with people also of this knowledge that you will <laughs> that you will uh um you know, embark on, share that with the people around you, share this generosity, just show who you are by being just your authentic self. And to stick also to the truth, because once you get up to that point where you are yourself, you're going to find out the truth about yourself and about, you know, certain things that maybe you wanted to hide in the past, maybe certain traumas or things like that. But now it's definitely going to pop up in your face and there is like no way that you can hide that truth. But also, being your authentic self um, talks about how you need to be true to your surrounding because you cannot just like escape and just like pretend that everything is okay. So that person mirroring you is going to mirror that hard truth as well. And that is going to be a process for you to go uh, on. But know that everything you, you have or you need is just like with you. So then we have this part Oh, this is like a beautiful card. And I had that like before. Your reality is a reflection of your inner world. Again, like this all talks about how you are going to grow. Like, I don't know like who's coming like in your life or if you are definitely starting like on this new journey within yourself. This is a really, really beautiful process. I am getting like returning back to love, like that process where certain things have happened maybe in our life that has created, you know, things that um that changed us so we have removed the limiting labels you are wearing this is beautiful because going back to your authentic self you get to go to your true self and that's definitely removing anything that's holding you from that and those are all the limiting belief about yourself so all the limiting thoughts let those go and just like be yourself so these are the months that are important to you. So we're talking about January, July, and we have the month of June that might be very important to you, beautiful Aquarius. So my beautiful souls, these are the readings. That, uh, this is the reading that I have for you. If it resonated with you, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you around. For now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hi there, my beautiful Pisces soul. So let's hop into your reading to see what is coming up within the upcoming year for you. So we have the Page of Swords. So I definitely feel like in the upcoming year, you will be embarking on this new journey. And I feel like you're ready to kind of like cancel, delete everything from this past year that has been... Whoo, Wow, what a lot of cards are kind of like popping up. So I'm like just going to put like everything like behind again and just like beneath a couple of cards. Uh, so I feel like you are embarking like on this new journey with all of kind of like this knowledge that you have and that you're ready to accumulate like new things, that you're ready for this. And whatever you're going to reach within 2022 is going to give you or bring you a lot of happiness. A lot of happiness because you're canceling, clearing, deleting everything that you no longer need in your life and are definitely focusing on beautiful things that are coming your way. So
So with a ton of cups, I definitely feel like emotional fulfillment coming up within you for 2022, my beautiful Pisces. Uh, so, um, and that could involve a marriage or that could involve just like stability, you acquiring like the money, the financial things that you need just to be happy, just to be like emotionally happy. It could also be that you're starting a family or something like that. And I do feel like a king of coins is going to be very, very important within your life. So we could talking about Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn person coming into your life that might help help you with this journey or whom is important for you within this stability or something like that so let's see what else we have for you my Pisces soul of what is going to happen for you within 2022 so what do we have for you so we have this strength card which shows me that you are definitely going to put a lot of care within yourself and also to becoming more independence, independence about how you're going to find that emotional luck about yourself. So if you were someone who was depending on someone else to kind of like give you that happiness that is going to change, you're going to, you know, take matter into your own hands to create that happiness, that luck for you within family life, but also within, you know, new financial situation because with this page of swords you might be at the start of that journey where you kind of like think okay enough is enough i'm ready to move forward and leave any everything behind and that's exactly what you're going to do and with the ace of swords it definitely shows for me that you are embarking on this new venture and it might be that this new venture involves this king of coins so keep that in mind for the upcoming year so what else do we have for you, my Pisces souls? So let's get like a couple more cards for you right here. What else do we have? We have the Hanged Man. And with the Hanged Man here, I do feel that um, 2022 is going to be a year where you're going to see things in a different perspective, where things maybe that didn't make sense uh, with you in 2021, you are going to see like, oh, dang, you know, if I look at it that, that this way, that's like how I'm going to be successful. This is how like it's going to work for me. Uh, things that maybe didn't work like for other people might even work for you. So be open minded about the things that come your way um, that are going to help you to accumulate that beautiful happiness that you want. And even also, I'm definitely getting maybe a marriage or just like creating kids or happy having like that happy family life for you in 2022 so that's like really really beautiful we're all one love all creatures for we all share the same a little forest and that might be that sometimes in my beautiful pisces we can get a little bit you know into our own emotions and we can get like you know um a little bit pessimistic and with this i'm just like getting to just Keep being optimistic about everything that happens. Keep loving like all beings and creatures. Uh, even though when we don't understand to what, you know, happened or we want to be maybe revengeful of the things or maybe even shut people out. That's like what Pisces are. We try to like run away from people that hurt us. But sometimes we need to forgive people and allow them to stay. So you can always be kinder to yourself. It could also be that we're talking about ourselves here that we need to love ourselves just a little bit more and not to be truly hard to ourselves. This moment will be a mere memory one day. Are you making the most of it? And also to remind ourselves that sometimes happiness are in this moment and not in the future. Pisces get tend to get like a lot dreamy and live like in the future and forget to live and just like enjoy the beautiful moments that are happening. So in 2022, it's really important for you to keep the focus to the here and now. So let's say if you are just like having those beautiful moments, if you are accumulating that, you know, that wealth, that financial stability that you want, then to notice that and to also enjoy those moments instead of keeping dreaming of the things that need to come and to dream maybe of bigger, bigger and bigger or happier and happier and happier. But also to see the moments that you are having like right now and to enjoy them as well because they're also part of your journey, okay? So be very, very grateful of those uh, moments as well. 
So let's see what else we've got here for you, my beautiful Pisces souls. So what else we have here? Ooh. So we have this dragonfly spirit right here, which talks about change. So um, it might be that there might a lot of change might be coming up within the upcoming year for you. Know that change always brings something beautiful, with, especially with this dragonfly. I'm seeing like it's bringing you something really, really good. It's moving you towards a place where you're going to find that 10 of cups. So even though change might be a little bit scary, uh, keep reminding yourself that all of these scary things uh, are here to help you to move into a more beautiful, beautiful uh, place. With that flow, to flow with that energy of that change, to not try to uh, swim against the current, my beautiful soul, because otherwise it's going to be really, really hard for you. So we've got transformation. This is going to be a year where you're going to transform. Maybe if you haven't had a lot of luck in the past, that's going to change within this year. You're going to stand like more in your power. You're going to learn that maybe you are the business person that, you know, that could accumulate that happiness or that wealth or, you know, that is independence that are uh, the one that can create their own happiness. So you're going to find that uh, balance. And also there is a love coming into your life as we saw like with this marriage and with, um, you know, this beautiful stability relationship card or family card. Now with that retreat card, I also feel that you might be uh, going away within the upcoming year for a much needed vacation or something like that because you really deserve it. So it might be that you might take time off from work or something like that. And that March might be a really important month for you, my Pisces souls in January. Uh, it's also kind of like in the um, energy of Pisces right there. So that's like really, really beautiful to see. And what else do we have? We have the month of July, which is the summer. So it could be that you go away around that time just to get like your so much needed retreat. Now the last oracle cards that I have for you are the messages from your angels or from your spirit guides just to show you a little bit of love right there, a little bit of message. Uh, sometimes that we don't want to hear, but that there is very much needed for this upcoming year. So let's see what they have to say about this year. Change one thing today uh, by starting small. So remember things don't come like really, really fast. We have to take like little steps if we want to change our own happiness, if we want that, you know, in our life. Also release self-doubt and let go of fear. Change might be something that we might fear because it's something that brings us into the unknown and that can get up out of our comfort zone. So remind that, you know, even though there is change, that is all for your own good and that it's really going to help you out. So there you have it, my beautiful Pisces soul. This was your reading. I hope that it resonated with you. If it did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing. I would love to have you around. And I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.